What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. So if you want to smell like Paco Rabanne Phantom for less, then this might be the fragrance for you. We'll see. Today we're going to be unboxing and talking about La Taffa Hayati Al Maleki. Hopefully I'm not butchering the name, um, but apparently it's a clone of Paco Rabanne's Phantom. Either that or Paco Rabanne Phantom Parfum. So either way, I I decided to just buy a little uh, 0.5 ounce thing of Phantom so that I could compare it for you guys. And then I also picked up a little uh, Phantom Parfum thing at the store the other day. So yeah, so this was released just last year by Latafa. You know Latafa, they literally never sleep. They just keep working and uh, pumping these things out. The top notes of these are supposed to be nutmeg, pink pepper, ginger, uh, and bergamot, and then middle notes of woody notes, labdanum, incense, and cedar, and then base notes of musk, ambergris, and amber. So it sounds like a pretty well-rounded fragrance. I'm familiar with the smell of Phantom, but I figured I would buy one just to, for, to show you guys anyway, so I could get a little bit of comparison. So here's the box. I mean, the, the presentation of Latafa is always really, really solid. Uh, I'm always impressed by their presentation. Embossed on the front, it says Hayati uh, Al Maleki, not to be confused with Hayati, with, which is a totally different fragrance clone of theirs. So yeah, so presentation is solid. Here's the bottle. It's kind of stuck in there in this foam. And the bottle is heavy. It is a heavy glass bottle, really solid. Yeah, it's all glass. It's painted on the front and on all these sides. It kind of has these beveled edges. Uh, it says Latafa Al Maleki underneath. Um, and this is a 100 milliliters, I believe. Yeah, it's 100 milliliters. And this is an Eau de Parfum. Okay. So yeah, so we'll take off the cap. The cap has metal around the outside and then some plastic on the inside. It has a decent weight to it. So really the presentation I'm, I'm pretty happy with. The atomizer, it is metal and the collar is metal, but there's a slight amount of spacing. There's a slight gapping, uh, and this might just be the one that I got, but there is a slight gapping between the atomizer and the collar, so they made this atomizer uh, jump up a little too high on here. That's okay. Um, so yeah, so let's get a spray and we'll see what we think about it. The original scores pretty well on Fragrantica, but this fragrance scores a 4.63. So very, very high on Fragrantica, 4.63 out of five. Okay, decent atomizer. Nothing to complain about that. That's, it's not pressurized or anything, but that's pretty darn good. And I can smell it from here. I can smell a fruitiness to it. Wow, that's, okay, so it's musky. I get a little bit of that amber. It's very pleasant, very good. Wow. See, there's a certain fruitiness to it, and I know the top notes it says it's ginger, nutmeg, pink pepper. I get that spiciness and all that. I get the sharp top notes, but I'm getting some sort of a mixture between the ginger and the bergamot, it must be, but some sort of a fruity note. Almost smells like, almost like a guava type note, uh, even though it's, it's not really listed there. Very pleasant. Let's see if anybody else is detecting fruitiness. No, they're just saying, yeah, like a musky, fresh, spicy. That's very interesting. I, I smell a sort of a fruity nuance, at least to this clone. So it smell the original. Yeah, this is, I mean, that's a great fragrance. Moderate, I would say moderate to strong projection uh, from this one. And the smell itself is at least an 8.5, maybe an 8.7 or a 9 out of 10. That's very solid. So I'll, I'll throw a link in the description. Um, it, I'll probably put one to either to FragranceNet or to Amazon, whichever one's cheaper, whichever one's easier. Let's give this one a spray. All right, yeah, so this is the little mini Phantom uh, that I bought. Decent atomizer. Okay, very similar. Hold on. They're actually the same strength. Maybe this one's even stronger. This has more of that strange fruitiness to it. This one, it's, it's more clear cut that it's bergamot. They are very close though, wow. This one has a little bit sharper, it has a little bit more of those sharp, spicy top notes, like that pink pepper. And I think the bergamot shines 
through a little bit more, just a slight, and we're talking slight here, guys. This is, it's very close, more than 90% close. Good clone. I don't think it's as as fruity, uh, or sorry, as uh, as fresh and and sharp as the original. But it gets you close. I see why it's getting a 4.63. That's that's pretty good. Um, this one, yeah, has a little bit more of the muskiness. Now let's check out the parfum because some people were saying that it might be. Uh, I've heard talks that it was a clone of the parfum, which. I'm not sure how that's possible, you know, because it didn't the Parfum, it came out pretty recently. Um, yeah, it's not a clone of the Parfum. This, that, that's that new one, you know, that's the one with um, the guy from Stranger Things, he's the new face of it. It, it looks really cool if you've seen the ads. He, uh, he's perfect for it. Um, the older brother of Will Byers, yeah. He's kind of like a misfit, but he's also kind of badass looking. He's wearing like a leather jacket. He's perfect for Phantom, you know? It's it's pretty cool. I'm uh, happy for him that he got that. So yeah, um, overall, at least an 8.5 out of 10. The, the original does have just a special something with that sharpness in the top notes, but after it, after it dries down, the Pretty, pretty similar, uh, pretty much the same. So I would definitely recommend this one, especially because this little guy I got for $27. That's it, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't even $40. This was $27, this was $22. That's why I was so mind blown by, yeah. So it's ridiculous. This is a 15 milliliter and we're getting 100 milliliters of almost the same juice for less money. So go for it. This is my uh, recommendation. That's my <laughs> official recommendation. Go for it, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.